The University of Tennessee began construction in 2008 with numbers varying between 8 to 115 million per project. The projects on the campus of UT have been recorded as some of the most expensive projects towards education in the area. The campus currently houses several ongoing construction sites, such as the University Center, the Music Building, John C. Hodges Library, Jesse Harris, and the newest addition, Sorority Village. Current complete renovations include the Commons, which is located in Hodges Library, as well as the Humanities and Social Science Building, known as HSS. The biggest and newest attraction, the New Student Union, is said to cost a reported $130 million. The Student Union is being paid for through student fees and revenue generating services inside the facility, including dining as well as the bookstore. Because the activity fee increases were implemented several years ago, the school has about $10 million in reserves to put down on the project and they are expected to bond the remaining balance. The changes being made to campus are a part of the university's goal to be named one of the top 25 universities in the country. This theme of improvement and change is also implemented in the new campaign for Big Orange, Big Idea. It seems like it's always been a continual thing, the, the construction. And in fact, this is my first experience with it because I've actually been employed off campus before and I've just been here for six months. So luckily where I've had to go, there has not been very much construction uh, coming in. I can come straight up Cumberland and come in and park. But on the way home, I do go to a construction area, but they have it set up where there is a little detour and makes it easy for me. The construction to me, has been kind of an obstacle sometimes going to classes and getting to your destination. You have to take alternate routes oftentimes and uh, so their, their time, their timing is sometimes off as far as the library is supposed to be finished before school started and that was definitely not the case. So that can kind of be an obstacle but so far it hasn't been too much of a problem to me. With varying views on the construction, the complications, and the changes they bring, it is said that construction is due to end in 2016, and we ourselves will see what all of it was for.